Venus and welcome to your reading. I hope that all of you are doing amazing. Now let's start this reading and we're going to see what is going on between you and the person on your mind. So what I'm seeing here is that I feel like you guys are doing great by yourself. I feel like you guys have found that happiness within you. Um, but I'm also seeing that something is changed within the dynamic of this relationship or connection. <clears throat> I feel like uh, both of you have been learning um, a lot uh, via this relationship, going through spiritual development, maybe even self-development, self-love. I feel like you guys have been uh, experiencing a lot of um, lessons uh, within this connection. Now, it's time for enjoying. I feel like you guys are um, going to enjoy uh, the company of this person that you are thinking about a lot more than before because I feel like before it could have been a very, very um, challenging situation. Either for some of you, I feel like it could have been because of a third party situation or for others, I feel like strongly that this could be because your person wanted to go and explore perhaps other options or they just um, were not communicating as much with you. Now, I feel that uh, something important is happening within this relationship and we're going to see what it is but I feel like there's a uh, there's an important uh, news coming from this person they're being guided towards you so I feel like um, no matter where they go they're always coming back um, and uh, vice versa I feel like the same as you wherever you go you know you're also again are being faced with this person now let's see what is exactly happening here and uh, we're going to take a look a little bit energetically and then we are also going to take a look from a 3d perspective as well and see what is going on okay now let me just adjust the table a little bit okay and we're gonna shuffle just a little bit more and i also shuffled it before but let's just do it and uh, let's see let's see what is going on energetically in this relationship oh my god you guys not gonna believe this <laughs> coming together number 66 oh my goodness uh, i don't think like any of us been expecting that actually uh, this is like uh, going to be a big surprise for you my lovely taurus okay and um let's see what else it says legacy of light and as I mentioned in previous readings, I'm not going to do your energy, the energy of the union or their energy. I'm just going to go with whatever that spirit is going to guide me to show you guys. And uh, we have shifting universes. Yes, things has been shifted. I feel like energetically you guys are uh, feeling different right now. And uh, we also have simplicity. And uh, we also have ethereal touch, number 27. So life path number nine are being uh, emphasized, number seven as well, number eight. These are the life path numbers that are being showed up. And what else do we have? You have self-initiation. And um, I'm going to, let me just unzoom a little bit more and I'm just gonna move it. Okay, that's good. So you guys can see more of the table okay we also have intimacy <laughs> oh my goodness Taurus what is going on here okay it's getting exciting and I feel like you are not expecting that perhaps okay this card wanted to jump out and I'm going to take it and it says heart fire <laughs> I feel like you have set this person's heart on fire but um why they have been acting the way that they have we are going to take a look and see why things has been the way that it has now first of all i feel like there's no other uh touch there's no other like feeling um that other people can give to this person except for you okay you have that ethereal touch I, you know they feel like when they touch you or when you guys are close to each other uh, there's something extremely um like different about it like i feel like this is not just a physical um connection they feel like when you you know when there is this um when you two are with each other uh you know and when you two like let's say touch it touch each other it's just beyond this world and that's why it says ethereal touch it's almost like being touched by uh, by the light or something like really beautiful about this relationship that they cannot deny it and vice versa as well i feel like it is on your end as well like nobody else can give you that kind of a feeling now i feel that um 
your person overall has a fear of intimacy i feel like um yes they feel that with you but it also at the same time scares them um like crazy i feel that this love is really really powerful for them you basically have set their hearts on fire and uh, they cannot deny that okay they cannot and um what i'm also saying is that i feel like um uh, you could have been feeling like you wanted to originally perhaps you initiated something about the relationship um, that maybe they in the beginning they were not ready to accept it but um, re regardless I feel that you guys could have um, initiated that because you were being guided towards this person now if you have been feeling like you know rejected then don't worry because i feel that something just needed to shift in your energies before you guys can come together so i feel like overall there's a shift of energy happening that's bringing both of you together again oh my god coming together number 66 um which is <coughs> sorry guys just a second oh my goodness which is number 12 and it's number three and uh, they're talking about trinity i feel that this is um your destiny with this person this is something you guys are going to be leaving a legacy here on earth i don't know what you guys are going to be creating together but i feel like it's going to be a legacy you know you guys are going to be leaving uh something really beautiful for generations to come and um, they're also saying that, you know, there's something like, you know, it's just very, very uh, simple, like something like a detail or something that could have been missing and it will be revealed to you. Basically, they're saying that the secret to everything has been about uh, the simplicity of the connection that maybe in the beginning it looked extremely complicated, but actually it's quite simple. Um, I feel like your person is... Um, has been feeling very much um, afraid of love okay they've been afraid of love and um, spirit is saying that they just need to simplify their life perhaps there was something that they were just uh, kind of like going like on a on a circle like they were just going like repeating some kind of a pattern because of that fear of love or intimacy now um, I feel uh, strongly that you guys are going to come together and there's going to be uh, intimacy also with this person but they're also saying that um, this person is overcoming that fear now how they are overcoming that um, I'm going to take a look and see but uh, this is just extremely beautiful uh, with these cars but they're saying look at these two cars I mean they're clearly saying that you two are coming together and I feel like this time is going to be quite different from the previous uh, previous ones um, because your energies are shifted and it says shifting universes um it could be that yeah there's something about like you guys could have had like experience like in other universes or other galaxies and things like that as well that's also being showed up now um i feel like a lot of you guys um you are being initiated right now by spirit to uh towards this person but so do they okay i feel like both of you guys are being initiated now let's see um number three number three number seven i feel like number seven is very important because uh, they're talking about this year which is the year of the year number seven as well now let me get some confirmations about these um energies okay yeah really really beautiful and um we're gonna get some confirmation i'm just looking to see what to give you guys okay um not these ones actually let's get some of these number nine as well i feel like a lot of you could have uh, life path number eight. Oh my god this is very interesting guys because look at the numbers here it's uh 35 and 53 and um for some of you i'm also seeing that you guys are going to be creating something it could be um like a project could be like a baby but there's something like i feel like there is like a someone else could you, you guys could be like bringing an idea or something else into this world with your with two of your energies or, or like with your energies and um let's see okay 
and I know you guys want to know the treaty as well so don't worry we're gonna go to that as well and it says attune to the call tune in and turn on so I feel like you guys are maybe hearing the call of the spirit um, yeah it's like you guys are tuning in to the energy of love again or to this um, relationship I feel like if you have been like you know being guided to pull yourself back now you're being guided to you know come back there's a call there's something uh, it could be like a mission or something you guys are just hearing that like you need to get back here and it uh, says you hold the key to an awakened life set yourself free i feel like it's about your person something that they needed to free themselves it could have been a third party situation but i feel like this person could have been not awakened and this is the time that spirit is waking them up i feel like both of you guys are just hearing the call um, and it's just getting so strong very very strong and um let's see let's see what else is going on for you guys and we have divine discernment and it says a step back to find clarity i feel like yes you guys have been guided to step back uh, from the relationship to find clarity um, and see where you really want to go and where also this relationship is going i feel like it's mostly was about like you guys were divinely guided to pull yourself out of the relationship but now again you know you are you two are coming back or you two are being guided to get back together okay and um let's see what else okay we also have ocean of emotion find a safe place to express your true feelings um it could also be that this person has water in their chart could be cancer pisces or scorpio as well and um they also have i'm also seeing earth signs so another taurus capricorn or virgo is being showed up also a fire sign could be sagittarius leo or um aries but i'm seeing like uh, leo i'm seeing a lot of like leo energy as well now i feel like um your person is like feeling very emotional right now about you uh there's this like ocean of emotions coming to them they want to express something to you um let's see let's see what they are saying i'm gonna get 3d because i feel like you know more um confirmation could be coming from that and uh okay let's see what is happening here okay there's a lot of red color which i feel like the passion is being reignited in your hearts i feel like there has been like a time you two just been completely like separated no communication maybe they didn't you know maybe you you i feel like you pulled yourself back they wanted to stay but i feel like you uh pulled yourself back because you wanted to find clarity about them and um but right now there is a calling there is a calling that's bringing you two together coming together yep there's no doubt that you two are coming back together number 10 as well if you guys notice there's number 28 and also there's number 10 here as well okay now let me just shuffle this one a little bit more okay. okay guys let's see let's see i feel like this person finds you very very yeah they find you like um irresistible taurus they find you very very attractive they can't deny it no matter what they do it's just not possible to forget about you or you know they just can't okay okay i feel like you guys have history together yeah you guys have history okay and um yeah you felt like betrayed by them so you decided to take your heart to save yourself and just leave um they felt really bad about what has happened i feel that you are their precious they've been holding on to you without even maybe telling you i feel that this person just did not want to let you go now i'll tell you why all of this is happening 
and um, for some of you I feel like this is your inner child you two are so compatible so much like each other um, yeah it's like you guys have even maybe the same interests and um, you also have the wheel of fortune okay oh my god and this card also uh, jumped out and it's a king of wands and um, could be a Leo strongly but it could also be a Sagittarius as well or Aries but I'm seeing like a Leo okay um, oh my goodness okay the cards were flying and we are going to take them and see what else is happening okay it could also be another earth sign I mean it's really really um, quite clear that it could be another earth sign and they also decided they're like okay I'm just going to focus on the material world on money and like making money on like you know on my job I'm, I feel like comfortable where I where I am and things like that and um, now what is exactly you know has been going on is that I feel that um, they got a little bit confused about the relationship and the reason for that is they just did not know what they wanted in their life in general now the other thing that um you know they have also been uh looking is that or they you know could have been like a block in the relationship was that this person has experienced uh, poverty when they were a kid when they were younger uh there were so many like material things that they wanted to accumulate but it was not possible it's almost like you know when you go um and there is like stuff you know in the store and you're looking at it with your sibling but you cannot buy it or you cannot touch it and um you know i feel like they always been in that feeling of like they need to make money and money is more important than love now when they encountered you i feel that something you know has happened they did not want to betray you in any way i feel like this person is actually someone that once they love somebody it's like very they have like a very uh, a stable position towards that person but why they have been sort of like uh, you know maybe broke your heart or maybe you know you felt like betrayed is that this person felt that um, they felt that they should just look for um, like they don't know exactly what they want from this relationship they were a little bit confused about their own feelings now why they were confused about their feelings is that because i feel like this love overall is like the one that make them feel like they can be intimate with someone and intimacy can be scary to some people i know that for you you're saying like it's the most beautiful thing but for them i feel like they've just been scared of love and that really confuses them uh, because i feel like perhaps they had like they they had there has been other people around them they could be like other relationships and um which uh, you know each of them could have been like offering them different kind of taste um and they've been confused about what exactly it is that they want do they want a martini do they want like a beer do they want um or how do they want their coffee or how do they want like or do they want tea so and i feel like they've been confused and um also there's pisces energy coming so it could be that they have it in their charts i mean they are an earth sign no doubt or a fire sign also being showed up uh, especially leo and uh, for some of you i feel like another uh, taurus capricorn or virgo um, but um you know they could have pisces also in their charts and i feel like that uh, side of them that's very like intuitive um has been having a lot of conflict with the you know with the uh, practical side because the practical side was saying like okay focus on money focus on making like you know enjoying the material world and then their emotional side was saying like wait a minute what do you like what do you want you know how do you feel towards this relationship and i feel like when you left um I feel like you took your it's almost like you you told yourself okay i'm just gonna like basically take my heart and just leave this person okay um but what happened to them is that they keep like getting this divine guidance or signs from the universe that um that it was just impossible for them to ignore and one of the things that i'm seeing strongly here is that they've been seeing like um like they could have been seeing like 
feathers especially like a, a crow or something and a spirit has been trying to get their attention somehow um i feel like this person uh, believes that they they somehow like you know they did not want it to like break your heart or make you feel betrayed but it happened you know and i feel like it's coming from a place of um uh, you know un unconsciousness like it's not from a place of like them like you know uh wanting to really hurt you so these are the energies that i'm seeing and without even like telling you i feel like they've been just holding on to you so much and holding on to this relationship this person is kind of a you know they just <clears throat> once they have like that kind of a feeling towards you it's really hard for them to let go and i feel that uh, they believe that you are very precious to them you are very they cherish you and this is what i see they really really cherish you okay but i'm also saying that yes this person you know loves the material world i mean they love to have like that kind of like a luxury maybe they love to have fun and all of that um but you know at the same time i see that this is a passionate kind of a person if they are a fire sign and if they are a leo i feel like they could have been a little bit stubborn as well perhaps they just uh, been too proud to also ask you again like maybe to apologize or maybe to come back because um it was playing with their ego okay but i feel like you know they have so much fire in their heart for you uh, this person is really really passionate about you but maybe it has been difficult for them to express that heart fire yeah i feel like uh, for, for some of you it could be a leo actually um and remember that there was something about like emotions so it's like they want to maybe they felt like it's not safe to express their feelings this is something that they have learned since they were a kid because as i said the concentration has always been on money you know they had experienced poverty you know so it has been difficult for them maybe for some of them they had to like you know live day by day even like bringing food on the table like you know uh, it's like fighting for the bread right and um that's what i see now we also have the wheel of fortune and this card is really beautiful <clears throat> this is the story of a sleeping beauty and i feel like for some reason this story comes out a lot for uh tourist readings and what i'm saying here is that it's almost like you're touching you know you're touching this needle and um you go to like uh, sleep but before like the prince comes and wake you up and what i see is that if we look at it is this person uh, maybe in the beginning hurt you like there was a hurt within their relationship but something was fated and i feel like um this person was meant to wake you up it's like to your spirituality to something it's like wake up and um and i feel like yes it was not without the pain like definitely there's there was a pain but spirit is saying that it was um uh, you know it was just like uh, uh, perhaps a blessing in disguise like maybe you heard you were hurt at that time but n now you will know why uh, there was something like a blessing that actually okay very very beautiful I feel like you and this person are fated to be together a uh, very beautiful I feel like you two share a lot of like sweet memories for some of you there is like a childhood memory maybe you two have like share a lot of um childhood memories something about like an innocent of the childhood memories that is coming into the reading and yes for some of you it could also be a past life as well but i'm seeing more of like a beautiful innocent like memories that you have you had with this person like your inner child like playing with each other and um this is what i'm seeing okay my lovely Taurus and um, because I really really promised myself to keep the reading short so I can do them more often for you guys so that's why I'm gonna keep them short and uh, so I can come more to do readings for you guys so I hope that you guys get a little bit of uh, some of the messages I'm not gonna go uh, into 
uh, like let's say a lot more I'm gonna continue this on the membership site however so you can join me if you want to I'm gonna get some confirmation and then we're gonna get you guys charms and then we are done with your reading and let's see what else is the spirit wants you to know about this connection and oh my god oh my god taurus this is so beautiful i mean like i feel like this love is really exceptional and um we have the lovers and you know this is a gemini energy coming but they're also saying that there is a sweet reunion or union happening for you and this person definitely with no doubt you guys are coming into this union oh my god ethereal touch you bet like this is the ethereal touch like you have such an effect on this person it's like electricity it's like something and it says coming together so i feel like definitely it's happening for for you guys also um the letter s is being showed up for some of you letter k letter s and um something about like uh, someone's name is very uh, unique like a uh, sky sky something like that okay but anyways letter s is being like emphasized here so beautiful and let me also um okay just a second here could be a gemini okay for some of you yes it could be a gemini as well that um and this is uh, the zelda um, the legend of zelda uh, i really love that uh, anime so maybe for some of you you're fond of that but if you take a look it's like you're i feel like it's almost like you two knew each other since you were kids and um or it might feel that way there's something extremely rare and innocent about this connection that none of you can really forget a lot of pisces energy as well that i'm also seeing okay so let's see uh yeah i see like uh you know somebody was like going like fishing or like catching a fish or like something about goldfish is also is being showed up for some of you it could be like you two feel like kids when you are around each other very very light-hearted kind of energy that i see okay now let's get you guys charms and then we are done with the reading yeah. okay let's see what is coming here and um yeah somebody is seeing like feather <clears throat> could be like a yeah i'm seeing like a feather that what was this yeah like remember i told you guys this person is receiving uh, divine messages by a feather that's exactly it taurus oh my god okay we also have another e letter you africa australia and it says i want to feel that way again yeah you know like that way the ethereal touch i feel like they want to feel that way again and it says uh, I need some time to work on myself. Uh, perhaps that was the case. And we have Capricorn Taurus. I told you guys, uh, Earth energy was coming very, very strongly. Two to three months. And throat chakra, there's going to be communication. This could be your twin flame as well. And uh, for some of you, it could be winter, time of union. Letter S, I told you guys. Letter D, twin flame again. And um, letter D as well. And uh, yeah, you really, really hypnotize this person. <laughs> I feel like they are really um, passionate about you. There's something also about music. Uh, it could be like uh, you guys are creating music together or there's something about this person's voice but i feel like this is like you and this person again i don't know if you guys are paying attention but there's a lot of like inner child happiness coming it's like you two are just so happy when you are together and um and that's you know that's exactly how they feel as well okay and we also have uh, cancer for some of you yes there was a, there was like water energy coming so cancer pisces scorpio 
uh, but this is your lucky I feel like you guys are gonna be very very lucky in love you guys might be seeing ladybugs and uh, spirit is saying that's uh, that's the sign fire passion oh my god I told you you have set my heart on fire do you feel my passion no way this is what I was saying heart fire you set their heart on fire I don't know it's just like they can't deny it that's something that I see <clears throat> and um, some of you are living in Hollywood or something like about Hollywood uh, somebody plays piano uh, 1988 is also like a year that they're saying um, I'm also saying like Asia South Asia or India year of rabbit but this is like Alice in Wonderland situation uh with them as well that they are saying here okay was the same mexico and uh, we also have leo as a confirmation wow okay you guys got a lot of confirmation definitely there's a message coming but you two are coming together this is like really really good news oh my god oh guys there are two ladybugs double this luck okay double the luck and it says make a wish success so there you go if you're watching this video then make a wish is coming true and uh yeah a lot of like uh, angel messages i feel like they're being guided towards you there's also aquarius energy coming and uh capricorn yes i could see the capricorn energy and uh some of you this person maybe loves hamburgers and since i love hamburgers you maybe they love that and um i feel like uh, and it says leave your dream leave your dream i feel like this is something that maybe you're doing at this time again there's a lot of like uh, rabbit or alice in wonderland sort of energy coming um yeah i feel like you felt like this relationship is like that with them and um my lovely taurus i feel like everything is just basically coming in pair and a lot of like red color if you are noticing that red cherries there are two roses and uh, there is a heart and you see it's like uh, it's kind of like you two it's like a completion of this heart you see it's like a, to me it looks like a yin yang mostly uh, like complementing each other's energy and um yeah very very beautiful and it says after all this time always yeah time has passed and i feel like you two still love each other very much okay my lovely taurus i hope that you guys enjoyed your reading i'm sending all my taurus so much love until next time